Hello all, in our previous video we have seen how to design this dashboard page and using that user how to come to this page. Okay, whenever user gets login only then he should be redirected to dashboard.php. Okay, now in this we are going to see how to display user data, how to display the image using sessions, how to display name, mobile and status of the user using session variables. Okay, now we are going to see that one. Now inside this dashboard.php inside column md5 we are having all this user data okay this name mobile and status now whatever data i'm having inside the database that data should be displayed here okay let me just come back i'll just come back i'll refresh this one now here i'm just going to log in using khanam mobile number password 123 and i'm just going to give voter i'll just log in now all the data related to khanam should be displayed here so for that first i'm just going to come on top and here first i'll be writing this php syntax First, I just have to start the session here. I'm just going to write here session and inside this, I'm just going to write here start. Okay, session start. Only then I will be able to access the session variables and I can use that one. Okay, I have already created the session variable called this one. I'm just going to copy this and here I'm just going to access that one. Now, instead of this, now this entire session variable will be having all the data. So, here I'm just going to write like this. Okay, now this data will be having the entire session, whatever I got from here, whatever details I got from login.php, that entire details will be stored in this one and that I have assigned to the session variable. Now here inside this dashboard.php, I have just started the session, I have accessed my entire session data and I have stored inside this variable. Now inside this data, I will be having all the data, now I have to display the user data. I am just going to come here, now here I will be writing this PHP syntax. I'll just close this one. Now inside this, I'm just going to write here echo data. First, I just have to access the username. Okay, this is the column name, whatever is present inside the table that I'm just writing here. I'll just save this. I'll refresh this one. Okay, here I'm having this spelling error. Let me just come here. I'll just write here session. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see okay, the name of the user is being displayed here. Now in the same way, I'm just going to come here. I'll just copy this one. And here I'm just going to paste. And also here I'm just going to paste. Now instead of username, I'm just going to write the mobile column name. And here I'm just going to write the status. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see here I'm having this mobile. And here I'm having the status. Now instead of this, and here also I'm just going to change. Now here first I'm just going to come outside this partials folder. I'm just going to come inside this uploads folder. Now here I'll be writing PHP code. Inside this I'm just going to write here echo then data and inside this data I'm just going to write the column name. Okay whatever is present inside the database I'm just going to write that one. I'll refresh this. Now you can see the image is also appearing here. Whatever image I have given inside the database that image is been displayed for me. Now here what I'm going to do is I'll just do control B. I'll just create one style sheet style dot CSS. Now inside this I'm just going to write the image. Now for this image I'm just going to give the width. Width I'll give 100 pixel and height also I'm just going to give 100 pixel. And also I'm just going to give object fit object fit to be contained. I'll save this. Okay now it is not going to work because I have not linked that file. Now inside this dashboard.php, I'll just come here. I'll just come on top. Now below this, I'm just going to link CSS file. I'll just write here link colon CSS and inside this, here I'm having this style.css. Now my style is present. Let me just come outside. Then I'm just going to write here style.css. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see here I'm having this image which is having 100 pixel of height and 100 pixel of width. Okay, this is how we are going to display the user data. Now in place of this status, I should be getting whether the user is voted or not. Okay, so for that, here I'm just going to come on top. Now here I'm just going to write this condition. If my session, if my session of status, let me just write here status. If it is equal to equal to 1, then here I'm going to create the variable called status. And inside this, I'm just going to write here bold tag. For this, I'm just going to give the class. Class, I'll just write here text success. And inside this, I'm just going to give here voted. Okay, if the status is 1, then I should be displaying the user is voted. And here, let me just change it to double quotes. 
I'll just copy this entire line. I'll just close this one. I'll just copy this entire line. Here I'm just going to write here else. Now below this I'm just going to paste that one. Here I'll just write here danger. And here I'm just going to write here not voted. I'll save this. I'll come here. I'll refresh this one. Now you can see here again I'm not having any effect. Here I have checked the condition. If my session of status if it is equal to 1. Then I should be getting voted. Or else I should be getting not voted in red color. If it is voted I should be getting in green color. Now here. Here I am just printing the status whatever I am having inside the database. Now instead of that I just have to print the variable whatever I have created. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Okay now here I am getting not voted as well as this has been printed. Let me just check for that. Okay now here I just have to write here bold tag. Let me just write that one. And also here I am just going to write the bold tag. I will save this. I will refresh this one. Now you can see here I am having not voted and that is in red color. Now once the status has been updated to 1, I will be getting here voted and that will be in green color. Okay, this is how we are going to display the user data. Next we are going to see how to display the groups data and also how to display multiple groups. We are going to see that one. As well as we are going to work on this logout button and also this back button. Okay, that's all for today's tutorial. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.